Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode, we include a 3D object into a landscape photography. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, my name is Serge Ramelli, I'm a French photographer living in the beautiful city of Paris, France. And I make two tutorials per week. Click here if you want to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And click here if you want to get the 3D object which is worth hundreds of dollars for free all you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter and you will get that object, all the actions, all the presets, all the raw files I've been doing for two years for free. In last episode, I showed you how to change a photo into a drawing. This week, I'm happy to announce that Eric Geisler made a Photoshop 3D quick start course and also is giving away a lot of 3D presets. It's hundreds of dollars of 3D presets for a little amount of money. Check it out and get all the description on the website, you'll see it's really awesome. To introduce you to Photoshop and 3D, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take this car and put it into this photo of Paris. It's a really cool trick and it's gonna get your photos a whole new bunch of tools to create amazing photography. So let me show you how I do this. All right, mesdames and messieurs, so I wanna show you how you can play around with 3D and Photoshop. 3D in Photoshop has become better and better over time. And um, my friend Eric Geisler made an amazing course on how to use 3D with Photoshop and also is providing amazing 3D models that he modeled uh, and that you can use in your pictures. So here I have a photo of Paris that I took and here is the photo of, uh, of this car. It's a very high definition model that you can actually get for free if you subscribe to my newsletter. And so once you have that file, it's a PSD file, so it's all textures and it's ready to be used. So on this one side, I've got this photo and then I have that PSD with that object. So to, go, to get the 3D object over to Photoshop, what I need to do is go to Windows, Orange, and tie it all vertically. This way, that photo is next to the 3D object. Then I click on the 3D object, take that layer and just drag and drop it over my photo. Once I've done that, I can go here and just basically close that file and I'm good to go. All right, the first thing you need to do is make sure you've got three windows open. One is the layers, the other one is properties and the third one is 3D. Okay, make sure you're selected on the layers and then on the 3D panel, make sure you're on the first option, this little lines here. Okay, the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna click on the, on the scene here, use the one, two, three, force tool and just move. If I go forward, what that's gonna do is just move the car backward in space, right? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close, close, sorry, I'm gonna click on default camera. Well, I'm sorry, actually, probably current view. And on FOV, I'm gonna put the uh, lens I was using, now I shot this with a 20 millimeter, so I'm not gonna put 43, I'm gonna put 20 millimeters. Next thing you know is, the, is that your car is, uh, is uh, a lot further away. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is use the first tool. The first tool is I can move around my car. Actually, I'm gonna use the third tool. That, that tool is gonna make that car go up and down, right? I'm gonna put it in the middle. And the first tool is I can move around and what's important is to look at that gray line. That gray line is your horizontal line. So make sure you don't put the horizontal line below the car, but just maybe behind it, something like that. And you can see it's casting your shadows. That's what we want. So I'm maybe gonna turn it a bit like this. All right, make sure the horizontal line. And I'm just gonna use a third tool to make that my car go down and here, okay. Move my horizontal tool. Yeah, my horizon is probably around here, right? So that's my horizontal line. And now I'm gonna move this like this. Make sure there, you have to make sure that the horizontal line is on the horizon. And then I'm just gonna use this third tool to move up and down the car until it fits about where I want. Actually so gonna rotate this a little bit more, okay. So you just have to, you know, play around with it, really, something like that. Now, and you see it's already casting a shadow like if it was sitting there. Now, the problem with that, I'm actually maybe gonna use that to push it a bit forward. 
Yeah, something like that. So you got the horizontal tool and it's casting a shadow. Uh, actually, the whole thing is, my car is way too big, so I'm gonna put it further away. Okay, make sure. So yeah, you just you know play around with this and make sure I'm putting it on the floor again. What's important for the perspective is that horizontal line should be where your horizon is, which is what it is. Okay, so that's more like it. Actually, maybe I'm gonna push it back a little bit more. And again, uh, using that third tool, moving on. It, you have to get used to it, but it's kind of cool. Okay, the reason the line is in the right place, and so it's casting a shadows. But now the the color is, is not correct at all. So to change the uh, the colors, first we're going to change the, the lightning. We're going to use the photo as being the uh, for influencing the light to make sure that it blends more correctly in terms of light. So for this, you have to click on the original layer, double click on the lock to take it out. Okay, press command. A to put it into memory, command C, uh, and now I go back on the Mercedes thing, and I'm gonna go to environment, okay? And when I'm in environment, in the properties panel, I've got the IBL, which is image based light. All I do is click on new texture, click OK, and then I go to edit texture and press command V. So I'm putting as the light of the photo, my original photo. Okay, and then I'm going to press Command W to uh, say and press Save to close that. So I'm back here. Now I'm going to click back on my current view. So now it's reflecting the environment, but the colors are not correct. So if you want to uh, make the colors correct, you can click on Car Paint, and you got two values: Diffuse and Specular. Diffuse is the color of the car, so I'm going to click on it. I'm going to take a big, a red color, very dark. So Something like that. Click OK. Maybe even darker. No, OK, that's fine. And then I'm going to go and click spec Specular and do the same thing. So very red and about here. OK, and now I've got a red car. i got a red Mercedes. And if you want to see what it looks like, you can click on the layer. So you start getting already the fitting. But this is not rendered. This is like real time. Now all I have to do to render the image is click here, I have to go back on the 3D, and I click on render. And so it's gonna render the image, and uh, it's gonna make it pretty realistically looking. And I mean, for this whole thing to work, is you need to have to have very high-end 3D models. That 3D model, if you would buy it, would probably cost you between 150 to $200, and we're giving it for free. All you have to do is subscribe to the newsletter, and you have it, and that's the final result. But if you really want to get into 3D, I really advise you to purchase uh, Eric Geisler tutorial, which is amazing and will really give you all the little bits and details. I just wanted to, you know, run through a very simple scenario, which was to put that car, uh, that nice car in Montmartre in Paris. Okay, hope you guys love it. It's really amazing, powerful what you can do with 3D and Photoshop. And uh, have fun with this car, put it everywhere. All right, guys, back to me. I hope you like this and that you will check Eric Guy's the course. It's amazing. You gotta get all these 3D objects and play around with it. It's really cool. And I will see you in the next episode. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.